again. I tell you, man, just uh, looking around, seeing a lot of old faces. This, this, this is the only place that I see a lot of my old buddies once a year, so that's, that's the reason why I come. Ken don't know why I come, but I come just to see some of the old guys. But uh, I like to get an honor to the spirit of Christ who's the head of my life. And just look at all these coaches, man. Uh, I know that they trying to do the same thing that I always try to do is win some ball games because they want the city to be winners. And, I, and that's the way I felt. When I got here in 1981 and they was telling me all the negative stuff about how the Saints never made the playoff or never did this or that, I knew that that was going to change because I know the work that we was putting in was going to be something that would make it change. So to me, you know, looking at uh, Mr. Griffin, I know that he worked hard with Cleveland. He worked hard everywhere he'd been. And uh, you can see the change that he brought in the organization that he was with. Same thing with the uh, Tulane guy, the LSU guy. I go, uh, Coach O, you know, he's real good to me. I go there and have a great time with him. And he was Coach Fritz. These guys, they come here to win. So that means a lot to me. Just to be around the city, man, I go around. Everybody look at me as, you know, I came in 1981 and I'm still here. I, I just can't leave the city. I've been wanting to leave for so long, but something just drove me back to the city. I guess the, the people showed me a lot of love. And when you come here and give your heart and, and work hard, people really care about you here. So I mean, and I, I think these young players, they're gonna, they, they, they will see that in the, in the future that God just, just didn't love you when you was playing. They, they love you after you get through playing. That's the same uh, thing I feel here. So, you know I mean? I look at the Saints, I know that they got a great team over there. I think that they really can get in the playoff. I think they can go to the Super Bowl. I don't see no team out there no better than them. I, I think that they got all the talent. Maybe they need one or two more players, but they got enough. I mean, Mike can use a running back, but they got a great running back, but they probably, he probably need a little one-two thing like they had. So, but to me, the Saints got about the best team I've seen in football this year, one of the best teams, I'll put it like that. And uh, Eric Dixon keeps bragging about the Rams, but the Rams are not better than us. We gave the Rams uh, uh, a game just like we gave them the game before, but. I know we, we looking to uh, get them again at the end of the year when the playoff time comes. But uh, I, what I do basically now, I play golf every day. Ken, Ken knocked me from playing golf. He the only one I let do it because my therapy is, is to go in and play golf. I, I have a job that I work every day from 8 to 11. And when I get through out to 11, I'm finished working. I don't work no more. So Ken the only one that I let make me do some extra work. But I got a gas company, I got my trucks running and I build houses, so everything I do at 11 o'clock, I'm finished. So that, that's, that's just me. I, I'm finished after 11 o'clock. I'm going to work from 8 to 11 and I'm through. But I let Ken drag me around sometime, but I'm, I'm finna to be 62 now, so Ken got to realize I'm finna to retire. But uh, I would always come to the quarterback club, but it's always you know good to come and just to see some of the old faces, because this is the only time I get a chance to see them. So any questions? Uh, you see the protection the quarterback has, you almost have to diagram the sack. And I saw some of the sacks you gave. And frankly, about half of would, would be five. What do you think about that? They're too protective? They're not giving enough leeway to the rushers? Or they're doing the right thing? Which you think? Well, it's just like anything. If you're good enough to beat your man, you can still beat your man. I mean, you know, you look at McDonald from uh, the Rams, and you put the one guy in front of him, he beat the one guy and get to the quarterback a whole lot. So it just still go by what talent that you have. I didn't care who they had over there. I was trying to get to the quarterback. And I know that I had other guys that, like Pat was coming off the other end. So if you're trying to make some noise, you better try to get there first. So that's the attitude that I had. And I see a lot of these guys have. I look at Cameron Jordan and stuff. No guy's trying to get to the quarterback. And they got a, a new guy on the other side, 9-1. He's, he, he's a beast too. So. The Saints got some guys that are really trying to get to the quarterback. And um, I mean, for now, it's better for the defense than the offense because they don't have a lot of guys double teaming like they used to. So now you got one on one stuff. So you can beat your man. You can have a great day. Hey, Ricky, uh, how much better do you think Bridgewater can play? It looked like he improved a lot in the game on Sunday once he got comfortable. And uh, I know Dallas is 3 0, but they played a very uh, soft schedule. Can you assess what you think about Sunday? 
Well, you know, you, you look at Bridgewater, and uh, you know the guy really haven't had a lot of repetition uh, with the good guys that who's on the field now. I mean, you know, a lot of guys he's been throwing to have been second tier guys, haven't been the speed guys that he's throwing to now. So it's gonna take it take him a, a little while to get used to those guys, but his arm can get the ball down to those guys quick and fast. So you're gonna see a whole different ball game. And uh, Coach Payton liked the guy. Coach Payton called if then Coach Payton didn't like him, he wouldn't be here. And Coach Payton didn't think that he was just as good as Drew Brees he would be on. Coach Payton got a lot of confidence in uh, Bridgewater. I do too. I look at him, he can play downfield, something that, you know, right now Drew, Drew is one of the best quarterbacks in the league, the best quarterback ever played the game. But to me, Bridgewater got another level of that 40, 50 yard down the field ball. And that don't scare people because he can throw the ball deep. So now people got to play him from deep to shallow. You know, before people played them shot on in, now they got to play the whole field with them. And Terry Gann can run, you know, where those guys can run, they can really open this thing out, you know what I mean? And Coach Bates showing you that. That's going to help uh, the running backs out too, I mean, because now Kamara get a chance to be one-on-one -on -one with linebackers, and nobody, you know, linebackers don't want that. So you almost got to bring another defensive back in the game to cover him. So they got a lot of speed. It, it kind of like a, just a fast break offense, you know. You see, you know, guys coming down on basketball like the Lakers used to run that fast break. That's what the Saints seem like. They just a fast break offense. How about Dallas? I don't like Dallas. I never did like uh, Dallas. So I mean, you know, man, man, Jerry Jones, all right, but I'm not a cowboy. I don't like him, and I don't like none of them guys. I'm not a cowboy fan. I never been, and uh, I don't care if they don't win no ball game. I, but they got a little talent this year. The quarterback pretty good. They got a good running back. You know, they got some pretty decent receiver, good offensive line, but uh, I, don't, I don't care for Dallas. Atlanta, Dallas, I don't care for those kind of teams. So I ain't nothing good, I got to stay by them. Any running back from your down route that you can compare to Alvin Kamara? Well, I played with Barry Sanders. Uh, he, he's about as close as, yeah. you know, you can get to him. Uh, for us, you know, he, this guy got power. He's a lot stronger than, than, you know, this weekend, I looked at him for the first time just looking at his strength and stuff. He, 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 he's, he got a lot of power. I mean, he got, he built downstairs, you know, a lot better than people think he is. He's a lot faster than people think he is. You know, I played with Earl Cameron, me and Earl Cameron, best friend, but a lot of stuff, you know, that he doing stuff that Earl did with his legs and stuff, I mean, he don't really have to shy away from you. He run right into you. He run kind of high, you know, and, and get you a chance to hit him, but he gonna hit you too. So he surprised me with his toughness. I mean, you know, uh, uh, last year, I thought he was a late iron guy, but uh, man, I, I, I just tell you, that guy, he, he run the ball tough. He one of the top three running backs in the league to me now. I mean, maybe he wanted this one man uh, bike show, you know, to show people that he's a great running back. And I think he taking a, advantage of the opportunity that he got. And I think that, you know, I'm looking for him to get more and more yards. You know, I want to see him get to 15, 16, 1700 yards. And, and that's what I'm waiting on. You know, a lot of these guys, you know, they, they don't, I want them to see him running more. I put it to you like that. I want to see him get some 100, 200 yard games. What else? Do you think he'll make the entire season um, and not get all beat up running like that? Well, he ain't, he ain't got beat up yet. I mean, look like to me he's beating people up. So, I mean, he, he, he's tough. I don't I don't see, you know, the way they don't cut people down and all that like like we did playing. You know, we, we was out to hurt people and, and try to knock people out. Now, it's more of a flag football. They, you know, they don't see nobody called to me. I mean, a lot of time I would slice him down and cut him down, hit him low and bring him down. Guys ain't trying to do that no more. Even with your offensive line now. Uh, you get a defensive guy, now they're not cutting guys like we used to play, you know what I mean? Uh, when, when we play, you beat a guy, he try to slice you down, you know, to keep you from running full speed all the time. If you know a guy will cut you, a lot of times you'd be a little leery of him, you know, you don't just try to run him over all the time, you make sure you watch that guy. But now, they don't took all that out of football, it's just a, everybody up high, stay up high game. So, you know, a lot of guys can run now and do things they, they wouldn't do in the past. It's flag football now. Everybody got a flag out there. <laughs> All right, I thank y'all, man. I appreciate everybody.